this was my perfect segue because it's a perfect example. You know, it's one thing to talk about corruption and a revolving door, but without anything tangible to say, no, no, here's what we're talking about. See this? This was bull. And it got billions of dollars to a certain group of people. So the incentive was there on top of ego for the following reasons. And it's not just here. It's here, 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 and here. Um, And to try to explain to people, that's one of the things that people like yourself and myself are trying to accomplish or have high hopes for should Kennedy be confirmed. It's like he's not going to fix everything. It's not even possible. But is there a down? So let's look a little bit uh, about let's look a little bit at what this revolving door policy of employment means because it's a phrase that's been going around a lot right kennedy's talking i'm rooting out corruption and then dr casey means goes on bill maher and the revolving door of industry and government agencies can you give people an idea of what this looks like what this means um, God help us, because anytime I do this, the algorithm is like, boop. So that maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll save this part for Substack, but nevertheless, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, it's this this information is out there. It's not controversial. Um, over the past 20 years, 11 of 12 FDA commissioners have gone on to take cushy jobs within the pharmaceutical industry. About half of the FDA's budget comes from the industries that it is tasked to write, to regulate the food or, you know, or drug industry. And this revolving door, what that implies is essentially you'll see high level officers at the FDA one year and then the next year they're taking these lofty positions, making lots of money um, within the pharmaceutical industry. And what that is, is just a very obvious conflict of interest. I don't think there's anything um, conspiratorial about that. It's just that there's a, you know, how can you be objective when the when the when the companies that you're tasked with regulating, you know that a year from now you're going to be submitting your job application to. Right. Right. Yep. Of course. And that that playbook, no matter who comes on to talk to me um, in in any industry. So it could be Brigham Bueller coming on to talk about the Department of Justice going after doctors who potentially there's nominal there's nominal health care fraud, like charging for things you didn't do and what have you, charging too much for certain procedures, but at the same time being weaponized to go after these guys and then being given a job working for that insurance company for three times the salary. Mm. Or it same story, like I could have somebody come on and talk about how they lost their home in a natural disaster. And the insurance company doesn't cover their homeowner's policy and there's fraud. And then the same, like, adjusters go work for the insurance company. It's just this constant, the guy at the State Department goes and works for Raytheon or Boeing. Like, it's bananas. Yeah. As the temps search arise, I get that familiar urge to refresh my closet. But I am done wasting money on trendy pieces that I wear once, which is why I'm obsessed with quince. The clothes are timeless, elevated, Built to last, no insane markup. I'm talking about 100% European linen shorts and dresses that start at just 30 bucks. Italian leather platform sandals, luxe swimwear that looks straight off a runway but costs half of what you'd expect. Quince partners directly with top tier factories, cutting out the middleman so you get designer quality at a price that actually makes sense. And They only work with ethical, responsible manufacturers who care about people and the planet. Personally, I stocked up on the linen tees and the tanks, and believe it or not, a killer summer dress. Occasionally, I do wear dresses. And honestly, it finally feels like my wardrobe matches my standards. Upgrade your wardrobe at quince.com. Luxury should never mean compromise. Team, give your summer closet an upgrade with Quince. Go to quince.com slash Jillian for free shipping on your order and 365 day returns. That's Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash Jillian to get free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash Jillian. You also got to think about like how they, who these people are hanging out with and canoodling with after hours. I mean, it's, it's their whole social network, you know, so they're doing favors. There's, there's, corruption and cronyism and um 
And that shouldn't be surprising to anybody. It's just we've got to root that out because the American public is paying the price with regards to their health, with regards to the market that's allowing untested chemicals now saturate, permeate the food supply. Um, there's an issue with regards to, I mean, Brigham talks about this all the time, medical devices. And I mean, this is outside of my wheelhouse, but I mean, I can tell you that the USDA, you know, for example, in 2020, the Dietary Guidelines for Americans Committee, 95% of the of the people on that panel had conflicts of industry with the food industry or the pharmaceutical industry. I think it's gotten somewhat better with the 2025 Dietary Guidelines, um, but nonetheless, we still have people who are helping to determine how Americans should eat that are, you know, being paid by Novo, who produces, you know, these weight these oh, these weight loss drugs. And now I advocate for six pe- kids as young as six. Yeah. Kids as young as six. And Max, you know, one of the things that I notice, because it's like we all live in our little silos and our kind of Maha group. And obviously weight loss is something that I deal with and deal in. So these trials, these studies done by Novo, it's, it's fascinating how they've been manipulated to make it look like these drugs are the second coming and will cure everything. Oh my gosh, cure addiction. Yes. Kidney disease. Oh, s- slow the progression. Oh my gosh, we think that there's some sort of benefit to heart health, even though we can't point to a mechanism specifically outside of weight loss. And when you look at how that study was done, because I had Casey break it down for me, she's like, well, hold on. The absolute risk is not 20%. That's relative risk. Who knows what that means? You can't even find that. And then it's the absolute risk was one and a half percent. And then when you look a little bit further, it was so nuts. It was like the people that exercised and didn't take the drugs. So the ones that exercised and lost a little more weight were the ones at the higher risk of heart attack. Mm. So not the placebo group who had the same results as the people on the drug. I think this was the select trial. Um, The ones who exercised were the ones that were at higher risk. And I was like, well, what would be the argument here? And if you were to, again, this is, this is completely, I'm hypothesizing, but if you were trying to prove that point, which nobody ever tells you that they're just, oh, it's a 20% relative risk that you're going to have a reduction in major cardiac events. The argument would be it's safer to lose weight on these drugs than it is to exercise and eat right. That's the only thing I can think of. That's the only thing it ended up proving. But nevertheless, when you look at the research that's being done in Canada, or the French database. Max, like verbatim, we found con- um, contrary results with pancreatitis, intestinal blockage, stomach paralysis. Hmm, how can you have these completely conflicting studies? Well, some that are funded by the drug companies and then some that aren't. Like one out of the University of British Columbia that was obviously independently funded found that people had a 900% increased risk of pancreatitis on the drugs. Wow. Yeah, I mean, the question is, to me, it's like what population is being studied, right? Because these were these drugs were originally greenlit and studied in the context of type 2 diabetes. They were originally... Yeah. Active skin repair utilizes a molecule called hypochlorous acid. Now, when you apply it to the skin, the molecule works by mimicking the natural immune response to cleanse, soothe irritation, reduce inflammation, and support healing. Active skin repair can be used to treat a wide range of skin issues, including cuts, scrapes, burns, sunburns, diaper rashes, and other types of skin damage. And it's also safe and non-toxic, making it suitable for use on all skin types, all parts of the body, and you can even use it on rosacea, eczema, and acne-prone skin. With over 500,000 happy customers, thousands of five-star reviews, and ingredients so safe and clean they can be used by the youngest member of the family to the oldest, you now have one simple solution for all of your family's skin health needs. So visit activeskinrepair.com to learn more about Active Skin Repair and to get 20% off your order, use the code Jillian. Again, that's activeskinrepair.com and the code is Jillian. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the podcast, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And make sure to let me know what guests you wanna see on in the future.